Hola, 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 mis amores. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Espero que están teniendo un muy buen día y también un muy buen eh, semana. O, o sea, hoy es domingo, ¿verdad? Entonces, acabamos de empezar el, este, esta semana. So, eh, espero que están teniendo un muy buen domingo, uh, empezando su semana muy, muy, con muy buenas cosas, haciendo muy buenas cosas y comiendo muy buenas cosas también, ¿ok? So, hi, 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 my loves. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good day, good week. Today's Sunday, so hope you're having a good start of the week as well, y'all. Let's get into the video for today, y'all. I'm so excited about this video because I've been seeing it everywhere. I've been seeing this come up everywhere with ladies, you know. So apparently there has been this big war going on with hairstylists. Like, who knew? So y'all, I do my hair at home because a few years ago, I tried going to the hairstylist and I couldn't really find a hairstylist that I trusted enough to handle my hair and I tried doing like they call it like bond glue glues or something like not not like they put your little strands of your hair in a knot and they glue it they glue like the weft to the little strands of your hair to make the extensions first of all I didn't like the way it turned out second of all lost lost some hair in that process this was like quite a few years ago so um and then also just having to go somewhere regularly just to do my hair and then how much they charge to me didn't make any sense and this was back when I didn't really have a lot of money I was still in school y'all so I was still I think I was doing my master's degree not my PhD so this was a little while back I think it, yeah this was a little while back so uh because right after my master's I went right into my PhD from there so it, this was at least a few years ago where um you know, I was like, okay, I'm a, you know, a student and I live by myself. I still pay all my own bills and stuff. I don't have the money to be doing all this extra stuff and not enjoying my, my time while doing it. So I went back to doing my hair. I'm also someone that's been doing my hair since I was a teenager and I love doing my hair. The only reason it stopped is because I was in school working full time. Then, you know, I was trying to look for an easy way out and I couldn't find one. I mean, I have a better experience doing my hair myself than going to someone else to do it. That's That was just my experience, um, especially because I like to know what my hair likes. I like to know what my hair is doing, how it's feeling. You know, sometimes it cooperates, sometimes it doesn't. I like to know what's going on with it. And the only way I can do that is if I'm the one taking care of it. So I am very, very glad for that decision. I'm really, really glad because now my it's so simple. Taking care of my hair is so simple, but it took years figuring out, like learning again from my teenage years um, to now, okay, what is my hair like? How do I want to take care of it? What do I want to do with it? Da, 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 da. But now it's so simple because I took the time and the years to learn my hair. So y'all, I've been hearing a lot of videos and like ladies complaining, y'all like, oh my gosh. So apparently, I mean, these, hairstylists are getting boycotted and apparently the beauty industry in general is getting boycotted am I hearing this correctly so anyone that does like hair or makeup or whatever they're getting boycotted or because they're rude I think it's particularly the hair industry because you know these hairstylists I even I see that I so I'm not totally under a rock you know like because I wanted to get braids and so I was looking like just like a few months ago and I ended up not doing it, but I was looking and I was trying to see if I could book an appointment. Like I would reach out to these people. They wouldn't even reach back out to me. They wouldn't even like really like be responsive. Their customer service was terrible. And then on top of that, they had like a million rules and they would send all their rules before they even like, before they even speak to me or know what it is that I'm trying to do. Right. Like they would send all these rules to me and then they wanted like um, hundreds of dollars down before I ever even meet them, you know, so it was just a mess. I was like, oh, you know what? Never mind. Like, <laughs> I'm good. But y'all, okay, let's take a look at some of these stitches because it's, it's crazy. Like, I've been seeing this everywhere. So I'm so excited to finally get around to making this video because it's like, y'all, ladies, apparently there's a war out here when it comes to hairstylists and beauty professionals. And apparently, you know, more and more ladies are pulling out of seeking help to do those things and they're choosing to do it themselves because that's how bad their experiences has been and so the thing is people are starting to say that beauty professionals and hairstylists are having to go back to nine to five jobs because that's how bad it is now i don't know if that's true or not but that's what i've been hearing let's take a look at, at what's going on here let's let's take a look at what's going on here forgot again and i just jumped right in go ahead and do me a favor smash that like button for me smash that subscribe button for me helps out the channel so so much i love that you're here um and definitely leave it in the comments below what your thoughts are on this particular subject okay all right let's dive right in here Atlanta hairstylists are actually the devil. Like, I'm not even kidding. They're actually evil as fuck. 
And a lot of the times, I don't even get my hair done professionally just because I don't want to deal with this shit. Like, I really do not want to deal with the unprofessionalism of these hairstylists in Atlanta. So, let me tell you guys the backstory. So, I booked this girl through TikTok. Her name is Lyreek, okay? I booked her because I'm not fucking, like, once you do this shit to me and you're rude as fuck and you play these fucking mind games, like, I'm not going to withhold your information. You are the literally the most unprofessional motherfucker on this fucking planet. And then trying to play mind games with me. Like, bitch! So, basically, let me tell you guys what happened. So, uh, I think month. Y'all, she's so mad. Like, there's, like, spit on the side of her mouth. <laughs> Y'all, goodness gracious. Okay, let's see what happened. Hey, Tuesday, I booked like week, right? Um, I found her off TikTok. I booked her. Um, I booked her for 10 o'clock a.m. on Saturday, okay? So, around, I would say, uh, right after that. No, right after that, I sent her a text message. And I said, hey, I don't have hair. I see you sell bundles. Like, can I just buy the bundles from you? She did not get back to me for, like, a day and a half. At this point, it's, like, literally nearing my appointment. And I'm like, okay, I can't depend on her because she's literally not replying back to me. A day and a half goes by. She replies back to me at, like, 12 o'clock a.m. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, um, yeah, I can help you get the hair, blah, blah, blah. But by this time, I'd already figured out the hair situation. I already had the hair, so I told her that. I was like, I already figured out the hair situation. Don't worry. Like, I will see you at 10 o'clock a.m. on Saturday. Fast forward to Friday night. I get a text message at, like, 11 o'clock at night. And she's like, hey, like, I'm so sorry. Can I push back the appointment to uh, 1030? Because I need to go to the beauty supply store and get a whole bunch of beauty, beauty supply stuff. And, like, I'm a fucking nice-ass person. Like, I'm not going to be that bitch that's going to cry and whine and be like, oh, my God, my appointment was at 10 o'clock. So I was like, yeah, girl, like, you can push it back. Like, if you know me, you know. Like, I'm a very nice fucking person. So I'm like, yeah, you can, pu you can push it back. I don't care. Like, do you need more time? Like, we can do something later if you want. Like, super accommodating. Wasn't rude at all. Was super nice the whole way fucking through. She doesn't get back to me till early in the fucking morning, guys. Like, I literally sent her a double text message and was like, just let me know because, like, I have to be up. Because I'm assuming that if we do have this hair appointment, it's going to be earlier. So just let me know, you know, so I can wake up and set my alarm. She doesn't even reply then. I don't get a reply then. I wake up to a see you at 11 o'clock a.m. So I get up, I get dressed, I get everything ready, and I head to this appointment that's 30 minutes away. While this appointment's 30 minutes away, in Atlanta, there's always fucking an accident, there's always traffic, whatever. So I'm thinking in my head, like, this is what I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, listen, I was super accommodating, I am gonna be, like, 15, 16 minutes late, but at the end of the day, like, my appointment was supposed to be at 10 o'clock a.m. anyway, I'm gonna get there, we're gonna start the hair, it's not gonna be a big deal if she wants to charge me for it, but I highly doubt it just because I was so accommodating to her. And okay, y'all, let's take a look at some of the comments. I'm gonna have to see if I can find the second part, because... I'm willing to bet the way it ended was the hairstylist refused to do her. You refused to do her hair because she was like 15 minutes late to the appointment. I'm willing to bet that's what happened. But I want to take a look at these comments here. This is literally the seventh video I've seen this week about Atlanta stylists. Oh, girl. I know I've been seeing them everywhere, y'all. Like not even just Atlanta, but I, particularly Atlanta. But I've been seeing them everywhere. Like people complaining about these hairstylists. It is crazy. Baby, just get a jealous, <laughs> just get a, a glueless wig so you won't have to deal with that. Plus... Uh, I'm having a sale. Oh my God, not her promoting her wig. <laughs> I'm having a sale right now. She had me waiting hours just to even start, then made me wash my frontal in her shop. Like, who's the hairstylist? I didn't even get done till 2 a.m. <sighs> this is the same hairstylist getting this complaint? Oh my gosh. Wow, I don't know why people are defending her. Defending her. There are multiple people who have the same complaints about this stylist. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's crazy. Ladies, girlies, oh my gosh, that's crazy. I'm not from Atlanta, but I do live here and I am a hairstylist and I understand y'all check me out. Oh my God, I can't with these hairstylists and the audacity. They just don't even care. They will just like get in your comments. Like you're literally, literally complaining about their services and they're trying to promote themselves even there. Shameless. This is confusing because I've seen her response in her text messages. I'm lost and it's confusing. What's the hairstylist TikTok? Oh no. <laughs> is her TikTok and uh, wrong period? The fact that she's playing the victim is disgusting. Oh, she's, oh my God. Is this like a back and forth fight that's been happening? Y'all, now we got to go check out that TikTok. Just watched her video. W Weenie? Seemed like she dramatized the situation a bit, but I feel like both parties should have communicated a bit better. It's been giving me knotless braids and glueless wigs because these styles just th these stylists just want to play in your face and don't have the time or patience. <gasps> Y'all, you know, in a in a in a way, I kind of I understand where the stylists are coming from. I think maybe they just took it too far because working with clients is very hard. I mean, clients will try to be rude to you. I have my own businesses. Clients will try to be super rude to you and out of pocket, out of hand and all this stuff. And so you have to be super strict. Uh, you, you end up having to get really strict, even though you might have not started out that way. So maybe that's what's happening when it comes to these stylists. Um, I don't know, but 
I, I know that I'm not going to go get my hair done and then be washing my hair myself. <laughs> and then on top of that, I have to pay you. Uh, no, nope, not doing it. Y'all, this is crazy. Let me see if I can. Let's see if we can find this other video that she made. Let's see. When I tell you, this is like some evil shit. So I go into the building. Like I walk into the building. I walk downstairs. And you guys know my personality. Like I'm a very like, hey, you know, type person. And so I walk into the building. I haven't gotten a text message from her. I haven't sent her one because I'm just like, okay, like I'm going to be 15 minutes late. Whatever. If I got to pay the fee, I'll pay the fee. Whatever. So I walk in there and she's sitting in her chair looking at me like a fucking mother that is about to like reprimand her fucking child. Like she's like just staring at me. And like I'm smiling like a dumbass thinking this is a joke. Like I'm like, <laughs> like what's going on? Like, hey, what's happening? Like, are we going to start? Like, what's what's going what's going on? What's going on? She's just still staring at me. A very fucking awkward fucking experience. Like, she's just still, like, looking at me. And I'm like, are we... What's happening right now? Like, what's going on? Like, I really thought this was a fucking joke. Like, I'm not even kidding. I was like, ah, she's going to... Yeah, what the fuck's going on? She's like, you did not text me. <sighs> Communication is everything. You did not text me. And I realized at that moment, I'm like, bitch... Are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, my... What? She starts talking about how she has another client that's supposed to come, and blah, blah, blah. And in my head, I'm thinking, you're the one who pushed back my fucking appointment that's supposed to be at 10 o'clock a.m., and now you're telling me that you have in a fucking appointment after me when it's only 18... I was 18 minutes. By the time I got there, it was 18 minutes behind, okay? You didn't even offer to fucking, hey, pay the late fee. Instead, you're like, I'm going to have to cancel your appointment, and you're going to have to do it after the other lady that comes in that does it. I'm like, are you really be fucking for real right now? Like, you're, I, I did not complain fucking once when you were changing shit, moving shit around. 18 minutes late, and you're going to sit here and fucking tell me? And the way you did it, too. Don't you think you could have just texted me? Don't you think you could have just texted me and said, hey, I got to push back your appointment, and let me decide if I had to walk in? Like, it's some weird type of fucking, like, you know how police have this weird power trip? This bitch had some weird power trip. Like, she knew she had the power not to do my fucking hair. Like, that's what it was giving. And point blank, I just think she didn't want to do my hair at the end of the day. She didn't want to do two heads that day. So, I don't fucking know, but she was on some mental shit. And then she texted me and she's like, oh, like, you know, um, if you want to come after, if you want to come after, that's fine. I will uh, text the lady and ask her. I'm like, you should have texted the lady and asked her before you push back my fucking appointment. Like, you're fucking lying. You're a liar. And then have the nervous send me more shit and be like, you have amazing energy. Bitch, you don't. Y'all, when I tell you, this is like. D that's crazy, y'all. So she tried to backtrack after treating her like doo-doo. She tried to backtrack. Backtrack. Not me fully invested in this plot being a 5'7 <laughs> male Latino in Texas with no hair. You, with no hair. Y'all see how males always try to like come in and invade our spaces? It's like, sir, you don't got no hair. You a Latino. What are you? <laughs> Why are you in our space? Sir, goodbye. Go away. Oh my gosh, how funny. Me, a girl in Houston who doesn't get her hair done. Do not book with Lorraine. <laughs> right. <laughs> Taking notes. <laughs> For real, for real. Yeah, let me go ahead and hit that like. She already got that 10, 10K like on that one. I think you should have texted her. You were running a few minutes late. However, I think she should have texted her too and said, I'm running a few minutes late. But still, you know, like, I think that would have been the, the right thing to do. It's like, hey, running a few minutes late. She just sent that text. But still, like, I'm still on her side because I think the hairstylist was more in the wrong. I don't know. What do y'all think? Leave it in the comments below. However, she could have also reached out to you and been understanding and considering of all of, of everything. I mean, if you're running 15 minutes behind, it takes it makes sense to notify someone. However, she's not the best with her communication. So I understand. That's the thing. I think because the hairstylist herself isn't really good with her communication. So that's why people aren't on the hairstylist side, just because she sucks too. And so people are just like, yeah, we get it because the hairstylist is also unprofessional so no one can take the hairstylist side even though we you know it seems like a general consensus yeah you should have maybe sent a text right she was 18 minutes late but the stylist pushed back pushed her back and an hour no way <laughs> i feel like she was being pretty unprofessional before but to be fair you should text that you're going to be late I'm a lash artist and I would have assumed you weren't coming after 18 minutes, but after the but at the same time, I would have texted you to ask if you were still coming. Yeah, I think she should have texted hands down that saying like, oh yeah, I'm late. Um, I'm going to be running late. So yeah. Um, let me, I'm going to, I'm going to ask him why he's here. Okay. <laughs> 
I don't understand. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Uh, <laughs> Y'all, okay, so I do this for you, okay? Like, <laughs> so I found the response the hairstylist posted to to the lady that we just watched who was complaining about her services. I found the, the response that she posted, y'all. So let's take a look at the hairstylist, I guess, defending herself. And let's see what she has to say about it. <laughs> Y'all already know why I'm here and y'all know what this video finna be about because I'm already talking and we just finna get into it so I'm finna show y'all the messages because Miss Winnie done got on here calling me unprofessional, rude, got y'all all through my comments thinking y'all somebody and that y'all are intimidating me or making me feel any less than and y'all are not because I was not in the wrong so let's just go ahead and get into these messages. So here's like a couple of our messages before today so y'all can kind of see like you know what I'm saying the energy is there we're literally good. So I get off right at this time, y'all, and I text her immediately. And y'all are in the comments like, well, you didn't confirm the time until the next day. The time was actually in my original message, and I apologize on multiple occasions, as y'all can see. She said this, oh, no worries, I can come at this time. N not even acknowledging the 1030, but bringing up a whole nother time, saying like, if, that's, if that helps. And that was cool, so I'm thinking like, maybe that time just accommodates her a little bit. And y'all can see I'm recording on one phone and showing y'all messages off another. So that means that's my business phone. It's not my personal. So after I sent my message last night, y'all, I put my phone down. I did, you know, what you do when you get off work, you get yourself together, and I fell asleep. You know what I'm saying? So I woke up the next morning, literally, as soon as I woke up, I texted her, and I confirmed again after already confirming for 1030, confirming again. So boom, it's 11 o'clock, y'all. She Okay, they could have both done a better job at communicating because... She said 10.30, she came back, we can do 11 if that works better. And then nothing was said from there. So she's trying to, the hairstylist is trying to make it seem like, well, I confirmed for 10.30 already, but not really because there wasn't a clear, a set, the, the time was, no one was clear on what time was going to be used. So the communication was flawed. And I think the hairstylist has to take the L on that one um, because, you know, you got to make sure you confirm what, the, what time the client is going to be coming in, especially if you're the one that initiated the change. So... She's not here. It's 11.05. She's not here. It's 11.10. She's not there. Not a text, not a phone call, but I text her the day before. Y'all like to get on TikTok and it's all the unprofessional, but I'm communicating. I feel like I did my part. So she comes in almost 20 minutes late, just teasing. And I'm not mad. I'm just like, I'm appalled because I'm like, damn, mommy, you ain't even text me. You ain't reach out. And her, she's like, I, I was lost. But if you've booked with me before, you know, like your confirmation email is literally... You know what I'm saying? Every instruction, direction, like, you're good. You can't really be confused. So I'm just kind of like, well, yeah, but you're 19 minutes late, bestie. Like, what's up? So she's like, well, you pushed the appointment back, so I thought it was okay. No, that, that you, no, communication is key. That is exactly what I told her. The same way I communicated that something had came up and that I needed to have the appointment pushed back, she could have communicated, hey, girl, I'm lost. Can you help me? Come find me. Y'all, she could have said anything, and I literally would have been right there. You know what I'm saying? And to be clear, I never tried to cancel her appointment. I simply just told her because you were late, it's going to cut into the client's appointment that's after you so that we both don't inconvenience the client after you. How about you just come afterwards? She stormed out of my suite and didn't say nothing to me. Me still being the good person I am. Let me show y'all. I text her and said, hey, I'm going to text the client that's supposed to be after you and ask if she can come later so that I can just go ahead and get started on you and I can just get her later. You know what I'm saying? But the client that was after her had some other stuff going on, so she couldn't come. So I told her she could still come afterwards because I was going to have that client come earlier. So she's like, and as y'all saw, what time is Miss Ellis done? And then she texted me and she's like, well, that kind of hurt my feelings. And I was like, I explained to her in my next message, it really wasn't personal at all. I wasn't trying to hurt your feelings, but I have a special amount of time. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, like given for each appointment time so had i taken her after the grace period that i left for everyone was already taken up i would have inconvenienced not only the client after her but the client that was after her because i would have been running behind all that day so personally y'all i don't feel like i was in the wrong at all because i never tried to cancel her appointment i tried to accommodate everyone because she was not my only client for the day so that y'all have gotten all the screenshots, both sides of the story. I hope that y'all genuinely understand that I still was trying to take her appointment. I wasn't being unprofessional, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still tried to accommodate her. But unfortunately, with her being outside of her grace period, it would have accommodated and pushed, pushed me back on multiple other clients. So, you can't, man, you literally cannot please everybody. And I did my best, so. Well, 
that's her side. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I think that she should have done a better job communicating. I mean, yeah, you could have texted her like, hey, are you coming or what's 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 going on? And the the lady could have texted to let her know that she was going late, right? Um, but yeah, so, so the, here are the comments for this one. I'm glad I got your side. You wasn't in the wrong and very professional. Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> She's not getting as many as much support, though. You can see there's like 496 likes on this one versus the client who had like thousands and oops, thousands and thousands of likes on every comment that she received in support of her. I see both sides, but in my opinion, she was accommodating to you changing her appointment time. And I think the same grace should have been afforded to her. I agree with that. Yep, I agree with this. Yep, I agree. I agree. Yep, yep, yep. 400 yeah i agree with that uh 20 minutes late should not make or break for the next client yep i agree with that too so it looks like most people are like calling her out you know because I, I agree with that i'm like no because you're the one that changed it and made a mess out of it so you think you you know you gotta try to go the extra mile there when it comes to that um let's, let's see if that replies on that someone says but it really does no you can never really say how long it's going to take because every black woman's hair is different from you exactly so that 20 minutes matter if you're if it's going to take hours, she pushed back, she pushed back 30 minutes. Duh, 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 duh. Then the one girl said, I'll just come in at 11. She didn't say I'll just come in at 11. She was saying I can do 11 if that will help. And so that's where the, that's where one of, that's where, that's where a big communication breakdown happened. Um, because then there was no response confirming for 11 until the next morning. And I think another thing that happened here was the client was already not happy with how long this person was taken to respond to her text messages you know because they had been communicating about the wig she you know and before this time change and she would take days or hours to respond and so the client was already becoming dissatisfied in, in, in the background so that also did not help you should have confirmed her appointment 100 percent. yeah she didn't confirm it 100 percent. that's a problem that's your job to communicate exactly what time you want them to to be there because they're working with your time 100 100 this is a miscommunication on both sides, both ends. She thought she was doing you a favor by giving you more time to do what you needed to do. So she thought she was going to get, you know, a little bit of a grace, grace period there, which, uh, you know, I agree with. To be honest, I get both sides. Like she could have texted you, but traffic is also uncontrollable. Yeah, that's crazy. Her video literally made you look like a villain. <laughs> that's because that's because that's how she felt. That's how the, the client felt. The, you could tell the client was really, really feeling like how, you know, very, very disillusioned by the whole event. Y'all were both wrong. Yeah, from her video, it seemed like she said 11 because you thought that, because she thought that would help you. <laughs> How do you change a client's time without waiting, to see, without waiting to see what they say or if they have questions about the change, especially when it's so late? Yeah, it's ridiculous. I think she mishandled it. But anyway, um, y'all, let me know what you think about this whole thing. I was going to do like several different ones, but whenever I do these formats of my videos, like me, we are usually, we're watching it for the first time together. Okay. So I'm watching it with you. You're watching it with me. Y'all like, <laughs> so this one just so happened to be one where it's like, okay, we, we got like multiple parts to this story and it's a huge thing, right? It's just one example. I'm going to make a few more because this is like a big deal. Like it's happening across the board where women are are not wanting to go to hairstylists anymore and beauty salons anymore because they feel like they're getting so mistreated by them but y'all let me know what you think about this whole situation leave it in the comments below um go ahead and smash that like button for me go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me all right ladies and i'll see y'all in the next one bye